With John Wick Chapter 4 wreaking havoc on box offices worldwide, some people are upset that they might never ever get to see the titular character after his tragic departure. Although he might make a cameo in the upcoming spin-off Ballerina, most of us will miss the epic ass-whooping that we associate John Wick with. But there is nothing to worry. Here are 12 movies that will put a smile on every John Wick fan out there. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Nobody 2021 Starring Bob Odenkirk, Nobody deals with Hutch Mansell, a humble working suburban father who gets terrified when a couple of violent thieves break into his home and threaten his family. However, he refuses to take any action trying to avoid any violent outcome. This disappoints his teenage son Blake and further distances him from his wife Becca. In the aftermath of this incident, Hutch taps into his latent rage and goes on and rampage using lethal skills and instincts. On his journey, he will uncover dark secrets and, along the way, must save himself and his family from Russian drug lord Yulian Kuznetsov and his stooges, while making sure no one underestimates him for a nobody ever again. Similar to John Wick, Hutch is an unassuming man who finds himself in the crosshairs of the Russian mob after getting into a squabble with one of the family members. Bob Odenkirk manages to give this character a touch of dark humor, which wouldn't be possible in the John Wick franchise. But the creative action sequences sure make us feel that Hutch is some estranged brother of Baba Yaga. Hardcore Henry 2015 On an airship, a man remembers the bullies he faced as a child while waking up in a laboratory. A lady named Estelle, who is a scientist, tells him that his name is Henry and that she is his wife. She also tells him that he has been resurrected after an accident that left him amnesiac and speech impaired. The ship is attacked by a pyrokinetic Akan stooges after Estelle replaces Henry's missing arm and leg with cybernetic prosthetics turning him into a cyborg. Akan claims all of Estelle's work as his corporate asset and his stooges kill the scientists working under her. They also try to kill Estelle and Henry but they somehow manage to escape in an airport and find themselves in Moscow. But Estelle gets kidnapped by Akan and Henry has to save her with the help of a mysterious British chap named Jimmy. Henry, like John Wick, has to fight through hordes of baddies to save his wife from the impending doom at the hands of a can, but before that, he has to overcome a plethora of obstacles. The movie is presented from a first-person perspective, giving it a video game-like aesthetic. Henry, who is silent, doesn't need a voice and lets his hands do all the talking. Shoot him up, 2007. While waiting for a bus at the bus stop, Mr. Smith notices a pregnant lady fleeing from an armed man in the middle of the night. He follows both of them reluctantly, kills the man and helps the lady deliver the baby in the middle of a gunfight. The lady, however, is killed by the Hertz's hitman, but Smith somehow manages to escape with the baby, determined to save him. He makes his way to a brothel where he meets a prostitute named Donna Quintano. Donna, who has just lost her own child, child breastfeeds the infant. Both of them try to figure out why Hertz wants to kill the baby. Mr. Smith is a wizard with his pistol, shooting enemies without batting an eyelid. His typical anti-hero personality and impressive skill set make this movie a delight to watch, in addition to his dank sense of humor and love for carrots. <laughs> The Raid Redemption 2011 The movie is set in Jakarta where Rama, a new recruit in an elite team of commandos, is asked to stand back as the rest of the team, led by Lieutenant Wahyu, enters a building to arrest the notorious crime boss Tama. However, to maintain their element of surprise, the lieutenant didn't inform anyone about the mission, nor did he have any backup. But as the movie progresses, their mission goes horribly wrong after Tama figures out what is going on 
and asks his men to take care of the situation, offering them free asylum in exchange for the operatives. It all comes down to Rama, who must now take charge, accomplish the mission and return alive. Unlike John Wick, who is a retired hitman, Rama is a commander who takes on an entire fleet of thugs. He kills everyone he comes across with sheer brutality, which at times would make your stomach churn. The movie is riddled with intricate combat sequences which are blissful to watch. Rama, just like John, has the capacity to use anything as a weapon, even a broken door which he uses as a reverse guillotine. Wheelman 2017 A driver who is only known by his alias of Wheelman is released from prison after three years. In order to pay off his debts, he takes up a job as a getaway driver for a bank heist. Whilst he is on his way, he receives a call from a man only known as The Handler, who instructs him to abandon the men once they place their money in the car because they plan on killing him once the job is done. He drives off just like Handler had asked him once the rest of the crew keep the money in the car. He spends the remainder of the night trying to save his daughter and wife from a criminal gang that wants the money stolen from the bank. Similar to John Wick, Wheelman has an ample amount of combat sequences featuring one of the most underrated action movie stars, Frank Grillo. The movie has exhilarating chase sequences, but the Wheelman prefers his BMW, unlike John Wick, who would rather choose his Mustang. Polar 2019. Duncan Wiesler, known by his alias The Black Kaiser, works at an organization for assassins known as Democles. He is nearing his mandatory retirement age of 50. However, his boss, Mr. Blutt, plans on killing him before he reaches his retirement age. Over the years, Kaiser has saved around $8 million, but Mr. Blutt plans on selling his company and is trying to inflate the valuation by depriving his old employees of their pensions. He is made to accept one last contract before his retirement and travels to Belarus in order to complete the mission. But when he reaches there, he finds it to be a trap. Upon returning, he is hunted by a group of young assassins who are much faster than he is. Although he manages to kill most of them, one of the young assassins manages to escape and abducts his girlfriend Camille. He then goes on a rampage trying to save her. Just like John Wick went on a revenge spree to avenge the death of his dog, Kaiser does the same in order to save his girlfriend. The movie is packed with action sequences that are very engaging, but unlike John Wick, Paula has a wicked sense of humor. It's good to be back, Gray. Upgrade 2018 Upgrade is set in the near future when machines have been seamlessly assimilated into every aspect of everyday life. Gray is a stay-at-home mechanic who finds it increasingly difficult to comprehend everything. One day, as Gray and his wife Asha are traveling in their self-driving autonomous car, they are attacked by a group. As a result of which, Asha bleeds out right next to Gray and he is left a quadriplegic in spite of the car having extremely sophisticated security features. Features. Gray gets into depression at this immense loss, which is further triggered by the inability of the authorities to find the culprits. During this time, one of Gray's customers, Iran Keen, approaches him with STEM, an implant that would help him control his motor functions. After some time, Gray realizes that the chip has not only enabled him to walk, but has also granted him superhuman abilities. He goes on to use these abilities to exact revenge on the group that killed Asha. Unlike John Wayne, who is an extremely skilled hitman, Gray is empowered by an implant that makes him a deadly efficient killing machine. The sheer brutality and creativity in each kill can give John Wick a run for his money. Headshot 2016 In the movie Headshot, Iko Uwais plays an amnesiac guy who washes up at the shore with a severe head injury. Sometime later, he wakes up at a small village hospital having no memory of who he is or how he received his head injury. And Eileen, the doctor who had nursed him to health, tells him that he was found in his unconscious state at the shore. However, when a mobster named Lee learns about Ishmael, he sends a few his stooges to inquire about him. 
they stop a bus looking for him and while inquiring, they address Ismail as Abdi. They kill everyone on the bus except for Eileen and the young girl. Eileen goes on to call Ishmael to help him. By the time Ishmael had reached the scene, Eileen had already killed a few of the henchmen. It is now up to Ishmael to save Eileen from Lee and his gang. The movie is packed with exciting combat sequences which are a visual spectacle. The sequences are extremely stylized, similar to those of John Wick, but with a signature Iko Uwe's flair. <laughs> The Night Comes For Us 2018. In this movie, we come across Joe Taslim, who plays the character of Ito, an enforcer working for the Triad. After they had destroyed a small village because the villagers had stolen their drugs, Ito came across a little girl who had somehow survived the massacre. Feeling guilty for what he had done, Ito saves the girl and kills all the remaining Triad members on the scene. Later, he takes her to Jakarta to his girlfriend Shinta's place. Shinta then informs Fateh an erstwhile member of Ito's gang about the situation. Fateh and his cousin Wisnu try to protect them from the triad by hiding them at their own place. Meanwhile, Arian, another member of the triad, is summoned to find and kill Ito and take his place in the gang in return. Ito, like John Wick, is trying to protect the people he cares for from the mob. The movie showcases intricate hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences that would make even John Wick flinch for a second. Just like John Wick, the movie leaves behind a massive body count, too high to fathom for some with any speck of sanity. Kate 2021. Kate is the epitome of an assassin who is extremely skilled at what she does. But during a mission in Tokyo, where she has to kill a Yakuza member, she somehow fails to her surprise, but later realizes that she had been poisoned. She has only 24 hours to live and must exact revenge on the people responsible for her condition. In the midst of all this, she finds herself in a conundrum where her body is deteriorating rapidly, yet she ignites a bond with the daughter of one of of her old victims. Mary Elizabeth Winstead plays the role of Kate with such conviction that it seems that she is the female incarnation of John Wick. The vibrant backdrop of Tokyo during nighttime further enhances the movie. Although the plot of the movie is a little predictable, the brutal combat sequences more than make up for it. The Man From Nowhere 2010 Cha Tae Sik is a pawn shop owner in South Korea who spends most of his time in solitude except for a little girl named Sumi, who was his only friend. The girl lives with her mother who is a dancer at a nightclub and is also an addict. One day, the mother of the girl steals a lot of drugs from the Chinese drug lord Mr. Oh. However, two other criminals, Jong and Man, find out about it and they force the woman to tell them where she has hidden the drugs. She tells them that she has hidden it in the pawn shop. They kidnap the little girl as well and force Taesik to bring it to them, but they frame him in order to get rid of Mr. O, who is their competition. Unbeknownst to them, Taesik was an ex special agent. Taesik goes on to save the little girl, and what waits for the criminals is divine intervention. The action sequences in the movie are not as frequent as in John Wick. The script is balanced and deals with many other emotionally jarring subjects. However, the final action sequence is a sight to behold. Violent Night 2022 On Christmas Eve, when Santa Claus is almost thinking about retiring after centuries of hard work making kids smile, he comes across seven-year-old Trudy and her family who are being held hostage by a group of mercenaries. Santa decides to surprise the mercenaries. Santa Claus, played by David Harbour, looks like a chubby John Wick wearing a red costume and going around killing the baddies. The action sequences are guaranteed to put a smile on anyone's face, with Santa turning into the Grim Reaper. Marvelous Verdict The movies mentioned above are some of the best action thrillers ever made. Although some aspects of the movies might match that of John Wick, they all stand out in their own ways. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share this video. And for more exciting ones, please subscribe to our channel.